Hi, I'm Andy Chamberlain from UVM Extension Ag Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to clean one of these washing machine green spinners. So now we're going to tackle the rest of the chassis and some of these really hard to reach areas. Now one thing to note that I didn't mention at the beginning of this series is make sure the power is disconnected before you do anything like this. This is the motor and its assembly. You want to make sure you keep that dry. So that's going to be the challenge here. Maybe I won't do a final rinse. I'll just do a little scrubbing with the sponge. We'll see how it goes. It's nowhere near perfect, but I got a ton of this built up greens uh, off the bottom catch points here. So it's way better than it was. Not perfect, but I don't think it's realistic to get it perfect. So key point is do the best you can and get, get the heavy build up of debris out of there. That's really important. Make sure this is remains dry. You could even like wrap a bag around it while you're washing to, as an extra precaution. And I'm not going to turn this on until it's completely dry out all the way around it. Luckily, these harborage points on the bottom are quite a ways away from where you're actually washing the greens, so they're fairly low priority. They're pretty close to the floor. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just wipe down the outside and uh, make sure it's nice and shiny again. I hope this demonstration of cleaning it both simply and in depth was helpful for you and builds confidence on your cleaning procedure. And there you have it. Now you know how you can clean one of these a little bit better.